Well, hello. This is the Taken Sober Guy coming to you from the Cornerstone Restoration Ministry location in Kenston that is actually closed up here. And it's due to me being sick and different other things um, that have been going on in my business life that has nothing to do with the ministry. But anyway, some people out there think that they know everything and they just don't. So if you haven't been wearing my shoes, don't say anything that you don't understand. You've got your side of the story and I've got my side of the story and then there's another side. So there's always three sides, but God knows the truth and vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. But anyway, this is the final day cleanup. And uh, the last thing I'm getting ready to take down is the hope. I'm going to carry that hope with me and uh, God will see me through this valley. And just like I always say, without with God, all things are possible. And that is the truth. You know, um, my word for this year is resilient. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually learning what resilient means. I am a very resilient individual. Um, <clears throat> I haven't always done the right things in the past. This month will make six years, September 22nd uh, of this month, will be six years sober. And uh, I've got a passion to help people, regardless of what it may look like on social media or may look like from somebody's skewed um, opinion of me or whatever they think I've done on purpose or whatever. That's just not the truth. So all I'm saying to you out there, I'm not worried about these devils, you know, reaching out to me and, um, you know, thinking they know what's going on in my life because that's just not the truth. And God knows the truth. And the truth, you know, shall set me free. And uh, with God, all things are possible. So uh, I'm practicing what I preach. There's always hope in Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, this is not a, a ploy to gain anything because I've actually lost money every month on this place. I never did have anybody donating much of anything to this uh, um, ministry. Um, it has taken away more than, than uh, anybody could imagine. But what I will say is that if it helped one person by us being here, it was worth it. But this ain't over. This is just the end of this chapter here. Um, you know, there will be another chapter uh, opening it up. You know, uh, Perseverance in the Aftermath of Addiction's Captivity is the second book that I'm writing. And, um, you know, so uh, when, what, when God closes the door, another one opens. You best believe that. So uh, anyway, stay encouraged. Don't let someone's opinion of you uh, dictate you know, what your future looks like or what, you know, you should feel about yourself. And uh, I'm actually looking in the mirror saying that to myself. So out there, all the haters out there, all the people that don't know the full story, you know, talk what you will, say what you will. It doesn't bother me. You know, God knows the truth and he will be my uh, vengeance maker. Thank you. And y'all have a great day. And always remember, he is greater than I or you. Believe that. There's always hope in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Taking Sober Guy, signing out.